Hi everyone. Second week, uh, we have the second model. We will I teach you how to uh, study the second model with uh, the second house. Look like this one. In the second house, um, uh, we have the roof with uh, more difficult because we need to uh, adjust uh, a slope and create the slope look like the image. Uh, and uh, second house we have the second floor I will teach you how to insert image uh, to each level and the, um, we have the second floor with the, the room look like this one and the first floor uh, we have the stair go up the from f first floor to second floor I will teach you uh, how to build the st stair and the wall and the door uh, same a uh, same one and you can build yourself okay now we start to how to build this house through the this video you can do yourself and we have to complete this second model in one week and then you follow my instruction in assignment 2 and the due day okay you open the rabbit and the, the look uh, step to insert image uh, like the assignment 1 you insert image and because of this part I have the two floor the first thing you choose the level one to insert the first floor image look like this and the same up the insert image you scale it by reading the number on image and scale it the same way you you did in assignment one. Uh, this side based on the number on this image, you see that this the side um, is the uh, twelve feet eleven inches. You can draw the line uh, at this side, and the first thing you measure the design image. You see this image. Uh, the bigger is the right scale then uh, you have to scale it to draft it the first thing you click image and then you scale it the same uh, the step in assignment one Now the images scale small, smaller a little bit, and now they they get at this side the number the same the number in image. You remember the first floor placed and on the level one because the level two we uh, we we build the second floor. Uh, the same way the first thing uh, before you build the wall you have to create the grid uh, based on the uh, image you can determine the how many uh, grid you can draw based on the main wall of the house the external wall you roll the rig the outside of the face of the external wall this step is same the assignment one you did each project 
uh, you have to uh, follow the step by step uh, same the assignment you do and we, you have the final project you have to do the same way the same step yeah, you did through the assignment Now you build your wall because you build the wall from the level one to level two. To do the same step in the assignment one. You do maybe you adjust the number on the property tab table, or you can go to the elevation. You can control the elevation, change the number, fix the height of the house. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. After setting up the high up the wall, you select the location. Uh, follow the grid. You can draw exactly the wall. Follow the grid. This step is very familiar with you uh, through the assignment one and easy to do. Okay, because uh, I uh, just draw, see the some warning because uh, I just draw overlap on the another, another wall. They warned you, and you have to uh, delete one. And now you can change the name of the grid. The vertical grid you can uh, name Y and also you can draw X like this. Okay, this three step you can uh, draw the bit complete the wall uh, in the first floor like this one, and you see them um, after you draw the wall, you can adjust it by in, in case that I use the uh, align and move the wall to the in the middle, the middle of the wall, mid the grid by a line command that's very quick and very exactly you know or in case uh, i want to keep the wall and move like uh, adjust the grid i can move the grid uh play on the middle of the wall because i need to uh, uh, the space of the restroom in enough space uh, for enough enough space to use Okay. You see, so this number with the uh, <clears throat> uh, okay now you can use the the dimension command. to roll the detail dimension on the floor plan in, in case we have the two row and um, close the object this is detail dimension and uh, a far further we have the general dimension like this one and this one I can uh, adjust uh, the number with even number uh, look the row will look better the, the construction to accept this number construct row will accept uh, 
like this one in, in this case I, I change the location of the, the text we can uh, crack the text move with the ladder on the property table you can click on that and turn on turn up you can move move it and in, in case uh, you see the, the many option uh, the test you can choose uh, through the in the edit time you can see the many option you can change uh, on the uh, this on the graphic you can show in case that uh, we can uh, create yourself like, uh, the dimension you want to uh, uh, that's, that's, that's mean you can create your own the set the setting dimension and apply it for each project you want Okay, you can change the option to uh, let's see the art online. The leader uh, can apply and change the from the the light to art or the the art to light or, or the light to art. And the length of the the leader, you can change with the number. Uh, look like a, a video. You can see, and the leader you can turn off and move back in, in the middle dimension. Now I, I will teach you a detail uh, on the uh, what's the uh, evening. I will talk. I will. Uh, I'll teach you more and explain more you can understand on that in this case you introduce uh, this uh, the mark EQ that's mean uh, in case that I want to uh, you see this is the is um, the different number 18 and 14 and if uh, Yeah, like I, uh, I block the wall to the grid, and now the click on EQ, EQ. That mean equity. That means the two part, the equal, and the grid move in the the uh, in the middle, and because the wall uh, attack with the grid, that means the grid move and the wall move together together and you can use that it's very useful and uh, very quick and after you attack with the grid and then you move the grid the object move together with the grid is the quicker to, uh, to view in case that you turn on turn up the side uh, head of the grid okay you can move in the uh, uh, the pop up uh, appear the opposite side. Okay, now uh, we move to the level two. Okay, uh, through the Im image, you see, uh, you know, where's the second floor? Uh, uh, we have to place on the level one. On the level two. On the one we have the wall, you you did, and you know the the grid, the number of the grid, and then move the level two. You see, okay, observe the y two and the x y. You know that that's the corner of the game room. I have to meet this is the corner on the y two and x y then you click click image first and click the corner of the game room it's the same this one and move to that the corner 
I just ac across the y2 and xy and then you see we need to scale it to scale uh, second floor image to fit to uh, right scale okay now my last fit edge and then the high up the the floor uh, that, uh, about that number now you can uh, start to roll uh, the wall uh, uh, on the second floor the same the basic generate with uh, 8 inches you can uh, determine the, the height of the wall by uh, up to like top constraint of the wall to the level 3 after you uh, you roll or determine the level in elevation right? and now you start to roll follow the grid uh, you did uh, create on this the first floor and just uh, follow the grid uh, because you believe that they uh, follow uh, this place at the same location on the uh, the wall the first uh, the first floor wall okay now um you see the um, on the second floor the image the uh, second floor image they have the same uh, different width uh, the wall on the first floor in case that you can decide yourself you can uh, place the wall on the top the the first floor wall or you can um, move out but in case that for the construction uh, uh, stable construction i think i advise you can place on the top of the of the first floor wall is look at this better for construction mm. and now we we will build the the stair and I will teach you how to build uh, the roof and because as you see the group, uh, the gap uh, the, the roof uh, have uh, the uh, have the different level because uh, the slab up the front of the roof and they, we have to adjust a little bit for uh, the level that's mean the different level, uh, level uh, compared with the base of the roof I will, I will teach you how to do that uh, to create the roof light image okay this is the, the first thing I review uh, the, the garage roof first thing you go to the architecture and uh, because the the, gar the garage roof in this level one but the base the base of the roof uh, placed on the level two that means we have to move the level two to start to to build the roof for the garage okay Now because uh, because uh, we uh, just start to uh, uh, to learn a revit uh, in case uh, uh, just simply you place the garage roof on the level two. If you want to move the garage roof lower, you can choose uh, base like the, you uh, see the pro property table. You can uh, see the roof based on the level 2 but and after that you can adjust uh, the roof lower by use the offset and that I will uh, talk uh, I will teach you uh, how to adjust that uh, on the uh, tomorrow 
and that's maybe we can adjust the the height the roof and the location the 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 roof uh, use the by offset and now that we uh, use the tool I just use the the big line and the quicker to roll and now I use the trim tool to cut it off and now uh, let the assignment one say we can adjust the slope of the roof through the triangle uh, mark click on the each side we can adjust edge okay you see this uh, we have the uh, three side has the slope and that side we, we are the slope that means we click on that and uh, turn up the five slope okay and the five slope turn click off okay and, and this another side we have okay you can take uh, that side we don't have the slope and you can click and uh, click on it okay we have this I change the the slope uh, lower will be fine okay that's just the number uh, the slope you want you can uh, observe the image you can decide yourself the number uh, put in the slope the look your project uh, lay image okay after that you can click on the finish you see now and now you have to not, can, cannot see the whole the roof because the view range I talked to you about uh, last week and you can adjust the view range you can see the whole the roof by adjust the number on the view range in the property table you see and click on that you see now the top I click the, on the label 2 but the, the offset just the 7 feet but now the, I choose the label 3 and offset uh, on the level 2 it's been a higher from level 2 4 feet and then you, um, you apply because uh, because you still choose the cut plan of the level 2 uh, from level 2 for, for fit if you choose the cut plan higher and I really can see the whole the roof because in case the, the roof uh, has not been cut okay now you see the whole the roof okay but I think the roof is not correct because you you see that, but uh, the, the the software just uh, generate automatically uh, the roof like a different image because they have this the corner we decide on this way is not uh, make the correct not uh, make uh, just just uh, create the roof is uh, not correctly and then you can click on the roof you did and edit edit roof by click on that and now I think we just use your roll the the symbol roof like this okay the, cut it up like that and now uh, you see the roof the loop line this one okay uh, that's part uh, go inside the house I will teach you how to cut it off by the another tool okay now we up uh, up show the the garage roof by the edges the in front of the in front side of the roof we, uh, we can change it or the okay the bigger roof uh, we can do same way 
edit the you can just use the big line and use the offset because we had uh, the overhead the one fit choose the one fit and the, the big line and use the trim to trim it okay quick quickly and then you can see the property um, table you can choose the kind of the roof you can change the basic roof and generate uh, with the thickness uh, 12 inches you don't want you can choose the thicker uh, thinner okay and you, you can adjust the slope of the roof Now you see uh, the roof through the view. Uh, look like this. Because I just uh, <clears throat> I just uh, move the roof uh, up to the level three. I just uh, click the roof and change the base level from the level 2 to level 3 that's the root how, how the big group move to level 3 and it's very quick and now that we uh, just look at the inference side of the of the group we have to uh, adjust it uh, follow the image you see click on the roof and do the modify click on that it is the, the front side and now you see we have the, the side of the, the roof need to that means the base of the roof the small roof need to move up uh, in case uh, we try to uh, Put the number. Um, I think about two feet. We try with last number and then the look at image. Yeah, now to see um, the base of that size so move up the two feet. And at that side, uh, the base of that side move up, and now the the roof look like the image, and uh, the distance of the roof um, too bigger, and then we can click on the roof and change the kind of roof through the property on the roof. By click on that and create now it just look better I will teach you how to create the material and the, and the uh, adjust the distance of the of the material to that's where you can choose um, and create yourself in the group you want and the same way you apply on the the big roof, the same this one, and now the two roof we have the look like image. Okay, so it's the same way the four attached 
uh, the wall at the gap it's just easy through the okay the, um, the first thing uh, I teach you how to cut it up the garage roof uh, move inside your house by the dark tool uh, mirror the light follow uh, the light by pick the wall okay then you draw the area closer and then you use a trim tool now this is the warning because it's not uh, it, it not yet uh, trim it that's corner okay you use a trim to cut it okay and now uh, that's mean the whole line close and then click okay last part now the uh, has been cut off uh, by the, by the uh, tool and to the uh, just um, you, uh, click the on element and hide high and hide on it and then you see the inside the roof has been cut okay well by review the hidden object you should click the on the light and an high view you see and turn up and uh, the the wall and the and the gap you can click on attacks to the roof like this one okay the same way you uh, choose another wall to attack at the roof okay okay now that we uh, continue with the, the floor and after we have the stair we you can draw the the floor and that's the easy because uh, the, uh, the the stuff we can generate automatically by the click on line or pick on wall in case that I click on wall click on wall that's mean they follow that and you can roll yourself by if you don't have the wall you can use the line continue your roll complete the floor in case I use this line and continue to roll at the line on the entry area without the floor without the wall and now you use the trim to get it uh, how about that? Okay, now this the just the finish the on the on the line, and then it, we need to show it and the online close. And after that, we can uh, click and finish. Okay, you can click the the floor like this one. And the second floor you can do the same way and you should remember you create the the void area for the stair go up in case uh, you create the void area exactly the the stair area okay we and just uh, you can choose the kind of the the floor in case you select the wall same way to do the second floor like this and uh, the area stair area you can use the light to do or the big light you can do quicker like this and make the trim it use the tool to trim it yeah. too quick to view you see that? and then you finish you create the floor they ask you that all the wall attacks 
with the floor we have just created we accept that okay and the cut is up and we had a decision and ob observe uh, how the wall work the floor work on the your house like this one see and we have to uh, uh we don't have the have, have not yet the ceiling now you teach you how to create the ceiling by you can select the level two and you use the uh, the ceiling by the automatically automatically create the ceiling by select kind of the ceiling and move your mouse to inside the area uh, you will feel the ceiling they generate the ceiling automatically or you can choose to do yourself that means you can um, draw the ceiling the area you want by hand that means you choose another option in case I, I choose the option automatic automatic uh, a ceiling that means just to move your mouse to inside the area uh, we want to to feel the ceiling uh, you can uh, scat like that okay and you can if you use to choose the scat that means you can do yourself and uh, everyone every uh, area you you can draw okay, in case the same way you create a big room like this okay we don't need that that's line that's line I'm sure that every line every line close and please finish now through the section you can see we have the ceiling the guy of ceiling we, we choose and the hang of the ceiling and you can adjust the ceiling by the change um, that's number or on the property table you can change it hey uh, uh hey offset you can change this check this okay now uh, we start to roll the stair in the first floor uh you open the first floor and then move to in architecture uh, see the move to the stair in the stair we have the the tool to view uh, this uh, the first row is the model you can um, the graphic can help you to uh, uh, generate the uh, automatically uh, from this model by click this one for the stretch stair and the circle stair you can do and uh, like a, a rough you can see and that example and uh, and write the uh, stretch stair like this one finish this one and and draw the uh, circle the stair like this one oh, sorry uh, I need, we need to after finish the, the first time we need to uh, finish and they create and uh, look at the this side and the east side you go to the elevation you can east, east side you can see the stair you just to create on this one this is simple uh, with rail okay and click this one you can see the detail um, the stage just created and in this one uh, the kind of the stair they use the, um, the rise of maximum the seven inches with the trick to 11 inches uh, click on the edit tile you know the detail the stair you just created by the model and they have the they you can set up yourself and we can change this one because this number uh controls the, the maximum the riser height and the um, minimum the trick depth okay if you change uh if you uh, set up this this one and the level higher we need to 
uh, the rise higher this number and uh, when you roll and the warning uh, table appear here uh, show you maybe this that cannot um, uh, create uh, follow with the riser higher this number you did uh, set up in, uh, in that case we need to calculate before you set up this one before you created this stair okay uh, I give you the example when we build the stair in this model and um, this is the minim minimum run width this means the length of the stair uh, have to uh, longer than this number and about it they uh, introduce some uh, option you can adjust through the construction if you teach you uh, detail because it's more complicated and the support this one you have the two support they call the stringer and uh, we can change this one this is the option stringer we have now the stringer close and we try to uh, change the non what happened you can apply this one Uh, stringer right stringer and okay, click OK now you can see the on the view on the view you can see and uh, the stringer this disappear and click this one and uh, I call it back like this one the string closure the stringer appear again when we apply it and okay, that's mean depend on the kind of the stair you can turn I set up or change uh, the, this uh, this part you can control this to trigger trigger okay and this we have the the rail and the routing uh, we can uh, when we create a dig, a this there they just um the rivet generate the trap um, the rail the railing with this there together but uh, you can uh, change this rail by uh, choose the option on the property ta uh, table you can change example this one you use the uh, the point you can see the rail, curve, the rail change this look like this one uh, okay, you can delete that and you can go back the level one and we uh, we build the, the stair uh, this model and I go back uh, this the stair we have the another kind of the stair uh, I will uh, uh, give you a true another assignment you can use this one is very beautiful stair and uh, you can see in that example like and this one I can roll the the round stair like this one and then uh, let's look at the, the east side view you can see the your stair or go to okay within the view you can see this that really beautiful and you can set up and change the string the same the same way okay and now we don't need that again if you feel finished keep this one finished by click on uh on the stick but not you can delete that, that. uh yes we yes we don't use this one okay we go back the level one to build this one because uh the we have they high up the first floor we have um a 10 feet that means we need to the stair and the the land up the stand need to meet the from the level one to level two and you go back the uh level one you can see and we are uh, the first the first step placed on the level one and the end um uh, the, the stair stay on the level two and that's mean we have to set up a change to uh, um we choose the stray okay the string the stray stair click on this one and now uh you can see we, we have just uh, choose this stair with the you see the maximum uh, for uh, the the riser is the is seven inches seven just a you write out this one but because we did a define level one to level two they the, the software um, can calculate uh, 
I'm sell and show you this number. That means the horizon is the six inches more, and the, and the trick eleven uh, inches. Okay, this number and the number uh, number of uh, num numbers upstairs of step the number of step is the 18 for this one and the land about uh, more fit more 15 okay we can measure this one because I, I can go there before do about this uh, 16 feet okay see and that's why I wrote that this this one to uh, enough the 18 uh, 18 step with the trick uh, 11 inches and then we can start to roll uh, click on this one you can use this to this one and start from the this one with uh, the width of the the three three um okay we have to set up this number click this one okay I did to uh, prepare the style with the uh, three feet a uh, Y okay you can see that and uh, click on this one you can see the detail this there and uh, with the the, the trick uh, we can control the trick but the more detail I can teach you because it is complicated to uh, adjust this one and we teach you the more um, more about that mean we have the uh, specific part and uh, learn deeply about this this there uh, how to uh, adjust the, uh, the trick the riser and uh, like the control the contraction of the stair and the master or something like that okay And now uh, you see the the width of the of the stand that you can set up the chain that's three feet here uh, depend you want uh, after measure uh, this way you can set this number then we can or we can adjust and move move the stand uh, bigger and fix uh, this way on this model you see Another how oh, we need to control uh, we need to see the how the study work through the through the section you can see that, that the first thing we need to uh, finish that after to finish the uh, view the, uh, the stair we need to finish okay and then we have uh, the stair just created and now to okay I just um I did roll this one a bit uh, delete and re-roll again through the section you can see the the stair how this work uh, you just create it by click this one the section here and we roll them across uh, and across the stair like this one and then we turn up and turn up this part okay and to turn up this part okay. now with the look at the section uh, uh, of the stair you can click double click here now you can see the style run from the level one to level two okay uh, easier to, uh, when you roll the uh, the stair on the uh, floor and observe it on the session and you do uh, example here we have the two window uh, through this one how to uh, look at together the two window uh, in the revit to give you the open the window two window three window any window you want and work together and you can see together when you when you roll okay through the view and the, uh, the title view tile view you can see if we have the two window here you click on this one again click this one that we have to uh, we have to uh, two window okay when you roll here you can see uh, how the stair and uh, you can control the bit the level two or, or not okay understand that 
and show that we can observe the floor plan and the session session view together and you can control that now you just create the uh, the stand okay and the click now now after created like i talk you you can click here and through the, this one and you can duplicate it uh, and change it um and name it na name name it and you can turn on turn off the show the tri uh, trigger up on depend you want and um, and the uh, rail on the uh, on the rail you can see really you can uh, change the kind of you want and uh, the pie on the bottom line and the rectangular, uh, rectangular but even the pie you can change like this one or even you turn up like delete it you can delete it because we have the uh, two wall um, we don't need the rail okay if you want you can put a little bit here uh, but i will teach you how to to do that because it's not easy to do we need to uh, many steps we have to do this one okay another model i can teach you or we can go back this model and uh, i teach you how to uh, put the rail uh, under this this there okay 